Good morning. In this video, we're looking at a particular eight element subset of GL2C, which recall those are uh, two by two matrices, coefficients in the complex numbers. The GL means that they're invertible, so the determinant here will be non zero. Um, we want to show that it's a subgroup. And first thing you want is that there's an identity element, and hey, look at that very first element. That's the identity matrix. We'll call it I. If you go to the second matrix, well, that's actually, you can see, just the negative of the identity. So that's negative I. So that has the property that when you square it, you get I. So remember, when we're trying to find a subgroup, well, first you need an identity. We did that. Then we need inverses. And we've already been able to get that, well, I is its own inverse. And minus I, if you square that, you get I. So that's its own inverse. All right, so let's go to the next one. We'll give it a name. We'll call that R. And you can check that if you square R, you'll get negative I, which means that if you raise it to the fourth power, that's R squared squared, that'll be negative I squared, which will be I. All right, so R has an inverse, namely R cubed. So R has the inverse R cubed. But we can do even a little better. R cubed is R times R squared. And we just showed that R squared was negative I. So this is R times negative I, which is negative R. All right, so R cubed is negative R. And that's actually the next matrix in our list. All right, you just see the one turns into a minus one, negative one turns into a positive one. That's negative R. All right, next we'll call this one S. And you can see the one after that is going to be a negative S. And hey, S squared is also negative I. And so the exact same thing is going to hold. S will have as its inverse negative S. And then finally here I uh, have a T. And this will be minus T. And again, T squared is minus I. And so our T is going to have inverse minus T. So we have eight elements. They all have inverses in the set. So we're closed under inverses. Now let's check products. So I'm going to assume you know how to multiply matrices together. You can check all these cal calculations. If you multiply R times S, you're going to get negative T. If you reverse the order, S times R, you'll get positive T. If you check S times T, you'll get negative R. And T times S will be positive R. And then we'll keep going around the horn. T times R will be negative S. And then R times T will be positive S. OK. So multiplying any two of these together, you can see from this table, is going to stay within the set. And therefore, Q is a subgroup. All right, we'll handle the uh, next one in the next video.